501 453 RAC cable gland consists of six key components. Entry, inner seal, armor spigot, reversible armor clamping ring, middle nut with patented tightening guide, and back nut. This dual certified cable gland is designed for use with all types of elastomer and plastic insulated cables, including all types of armor and braid. Assembly instructions are provided with Hawk cable glands or can be downloaded by the Hawk website. Allow sufficient length of cable to suit the equipment the cable is being terminated into. Strip the outer sheath and cut the armor to enable connection of the conductors to the terminal. Remove a further 20 millimeters of outer sheath for cable glands OS to C size and 25 millimeters for C2 to F size. Slide the back nut, middle nut and armor clamping ring onto the cable. Ensure that the orientation of the reversible armor clamping ring is correct, with the arrowhead indicating the correct armor, braid or tape pointing to the equipment. Always refer to the Hawk assembly instructions for guidance on the correct armor clamping ring orientation. Tip. Alternative rings may be required if the cable does not fall within the RAC's standard clamping range. Spread the armor or braid by gently pulling it away from the inner sheath of the cable. A screwdriver may be required for larger types of cables. Slide the spigot over the cable. Push the armor or braid up to the spigot shoulder. Slide the clamping ring up to the armor or braid by hand. Ensure the inner seal is removed from the assembly. Slide the entry over the cable. Slide the middle nut up to the entry and hand tighten. Support the cable to prevent it twisting. Grip the entry with a spanner or wrench. Use a second spanner or wrench to tighten half to three quarters of a turn. Unscrew the middle nut. The armor clamping ring should now be locked in place. Visually inspect that the armor or braid has been successfully clamped between the spigot and the armor clamping ring. If it isn't satisfactory, repeat the previous step. Remove the entry and refit the inner seal, ensuring that it is correctly seated in the entry. If required, fit the appropriate IP washer onto the entry thread. Depending on the enclosure used, the method of installation will vary. Use a wrench to fit the entry with inner seal into the enclosure. Slide the cable through the entry. Hand tighten the middle nut to the entry and, with a wrench, add one to two turns until fully tight. Hand tighten the back nut until a seal is formed around the cable. Use a wrench or spanner to grip the middle nut. While preventing the middle nut turning, use a second wrench to apply one further full turn to the back nut. Use our patented middle nut tightening guide as an indication that the back nut is in the correct position to suit cable diameter. Tip. A diameter scale is provided in our assembly instructions to help with this process. Installation is complete.